Okay, we're recording. Uh, it's kind of weird. Anyways, um, <laughs> update to uh, the Rogers problem today. Um, a lot of people think it's hacking. The my phone literally just came online. There we go. It could be hacking. Could be a bad update. That's what they're quoting it to be. Um, what I found online, and I'm just going to kind of read it out to you guys verbatim. Rogers identifies a root cause of Canada-wide network outage and left wireless, which left wireless customers unable to call, text, access, or the internet. Um, basically, it comes down. They identified a problem which was unacceptable. They said, I'm kind of cooking over there. That's what you might hear. Or see if it catches on fire. It might be a great video. Um, it said that Canada calls were unable to text or send messages, and uh, they want to sincerely apologize for the significant impact and frustration that this has caused. Uh, George Fernandez said that, Chief Technology Officer of Rogers. Um, you all we saw, y'all saw this. It kind of would, this is what you get for Androids. Um, basically, some wireless customers are experiencing intermittent service interruption for wireless voice, blah, blah, blah. You've already seen that. Um, I'll just skip over that. We have identified the root cause with service issue and pinpointed it a recent Eckerson software update that affected piece of equipment in the central part of our wireless network, which led to an intermittent congestion and service impacts for many customers across the country. The software issue has been addressed and that our engineering and technical teams will continue to work around the clock with this Eckerson team to restore full services to our customers. My nephew's in the US and he has a Rogers phone and he does truck drive and use it for the GPS. And as I was calling him, or he was calling me today, as I came back online, everything started coming up and you know, and uh, he said, oh, everything's good. We got GPS, we're good to go. Like he knew where he was going and everything like that. But he could, if he didn't know, he could have been in real trouble. He still got three loads done, his truck driver, all that nonsense, all that fun stuff. And uh, additionally, going back to the ad, the company uh, has not yet determined an exact time when everything will be back up and running normally. They're not saying that they got hacked. They're saying that it was a bad update or a software glitch. That's what they're going with. You know what? This day and age, that could be just that. Yeah, that sounds fine. Um, TV home businesses and wireless internet and home services will not be impacted. So that's why we can still surf the internet from home. Just our phones don't work. Uh, Dear Rogers Helps, just received an email from that my do uh, doctor's office and how they tried this morning to call me, but repeatedly could not do for the vaccine appointment. That is a real problem. Um, that's one of the, that's a lot of the things I saw online that we're talking about that they're, nobody could get their health uh, care done for the vaccine for COVID and everything. Additionally, my uh, dentist actually called me for tomorrow. It's not for COVID related, but um, they actually uh, were having issues themselves and they canceled the appointment. I think they just want to cancel the appointment, but who can say? <laughs> um, last year's Rogers announced that it was working with the Eckerson team to build the country's first 5G network. In 2020, Eckerson pressed release and said the company is enabling Rogers to continue to execute their long-term standing commitment to bring Canadians to the marketplace for the 5G era. Now, the US part, uh, um, iPhones, for example, have uh, the 5G card in them for the iPhone 12, but they only get one adapter or whatever the hell it is built into the Canadian version. The US has two, and I'm not, I never figured out a reason why that is. Anyways, the, going on with the ad, they say they will continue to uh, the customer experience and support and development. Um, somebody wrote, please note that the Rogers Internet Service interruption had may affect uh, student loaned devices as well as staff mobile devices. I have a friend who's, uh, whose son is doing the, uh, the online learning and his system went down around uh, 2 o'clock. He couldn't log back in after recess. I'm not sure how that works out, but apparently that they do still have recess. Um, so yeah, you're going to get kicked out and not be able to log back in. Uh, the, out the outage blocked my wife from getting her COVID vaccine. People who didn't get the notifications weren't able to do the vaccine and they were inadvertently blocked from doing that. Uh, her cell phone was a required validation. Wow, that's a, that's a tough one. Uh, Intermittent use, major phone calls from Costco Bay, Canadian Tire, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what's going on here? Coronavirus news. Uh, this is just some, it was, I'm reading. 
Anyway, it's going to skip on to the next part. The municipalities warned the residents about the potential difficulty in contacting emergency services. Uh, 911 was still be able to be called, so that was a good thing. It's just that the 911 couldn't call you back if they dropped a call, so you had to stay on the line. Uh, some claimed that an outage had prevented them from uh, booking or confirming COVID-19. So that's again repetitive. Uh, I'm just kind of reading this over to you guys as uh, as I'm learning to it or learning of it. Um, some streaming services weren't able to work because they were again using the, uh, the Roger services. Nothing too big on that. Uh, more than ever, people are connected through their mobile devices, and this is a major problem, especially during the uh, pandemic. Uh, Jagmeet Singh, leader of the federal NDP, said that in a tweet. And he's not wrong. He's absolutely right. This day and age, we are so connected to our mobile devices, and that's how we connect through two people, especially during the pandemic, and when everything is shut down, locked down, you cannot go here, cannot pass go, cannot collect $200 kind of deal. And it is and so important to, uh, to have that connectivity because pe some people, that's all they have, especially if you have a compromised immune system. That's my nephew calling back. I'm gonna just kind of close it off there. I'll, get, I'll, I'll call you back, okay, Terry? I'll call you back, I swear. Um, today's outage is a symptom of a much larger problem. The Liberal government must promote real competition instead of just protecting the profits of telecom giants like Rogers Bell, TELUS, and Rogers, which owns also both Rogers Wireless and Vital Solutions. It's the largest phone carrier in Canada with approximately 10.8 million subscribers. Probably a little bit less today because people are not happy. That's the end of the ad. At least it skipped over. So, That being said, we are heavily connected to our devices and updates like that shouldn't knock out your uh, your connection to, to the world, especially in this day and age. Now, I can see how it could happen, but why isn't there a way to uh, regress the system and go back to what works and why wasn't this tested? I think there's more to it, but they're probably not going to tell us. So that's just the way it is. That's just my humble opinion on it. But I'm happy to say that everything is back up and running. My phone's work. My nephew's phone's working in the U.S. And I got some people to call, actually, to see how they're doing, see how the, their day is going. So I'm going to end up here, guys. It's some good news. And let's, uh, let's hope it's not repeated. Y'all be safe out there, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.